Hey Taurus, this read is for you guys. Let's see what the universe has in store for you for Monday. Alrighty, universe, what messages do you have for Taurus? You got some guidance, some advice, maybe some affirmations or some warnings. Oh, I feel like that one wanted to come out of there. So let's see what she's got for you guys today. So we have material harvest. Trapped in fear, discontent and boredom, firm foundation, and moving on. So I feel like we're talking about a journey, um, starting a journey in your life, starting a new chapter. I feel like leaving this fear and possibly depression behind in the past is going to be part of this new beginning being able to move on and move past that i have deception and envy the waiting game temptation fulfillment of wishes and light so i feel like this journey is a long time coming i feel like the waiting game has been is speaking to you that you felt this way for quite a while. So we're stuck in these in these negative emotions and having trouble finding the light, finding hope, finding positivity. Um, I feel like this temptation, this deception and envy, um, they're only going to hold you back from this fulfillment of wishes. Especially this temptation, I feel like this is a temptation um, to hang on, temptation to stay in the negative emotions. I feel like it's something that it's because you don't have clarity. It's because you don't have you don't have closure. From something there's something that you don't know uh, the moon card speaks of the unknown I think that's that's part of what's keeping you from moving forward no closure I have the two of swords and the two of swords uh, represents having trouble uh, making a choice choosing a path finding clarity so that you can make a choice and the hermit card which represents introspection taking time for reflection, be looking at your situation uh, from a different perspective to find that clarity. I have the Page of Swords here, and the Page of Swords can represent a delayed or disappointing news. I have the King of Swords over here. Who is this King of Swords? I'm gonna pull, um, I'm gonna pull a few more cards, because I feel like he's tied into that Deception and Envy card, but I'm not entirely sure. How? Okay. I feel like it's a relationship that's come to an end. I feel like that material harvest is speaking to assets that are about to be divided in the courts. I have, um, I have the justice card. And the justice card, um, that's what it speaks to to me. It speaks to um, a settlement. speaks to the courts oh, yeah, this knight of swords uh, sometimes this knight of swords is about being true to yourself he's about truth he's about honesty um i heard him called the stalker card before and to me he's tying in with this deception and envy he's tying in with this king of swords um i don't know if somebody's still watching you like your ex is still watching you or you're still paying attention to what your ex is doing Then I have the star card, and the star card represents clarity. I got it sitting on top of that hermit card. I feel like clarity will come from taking time to, to reflect on these feelings. I feel like, oh, I feel like that's, that's why you haven't had closure, because this hasn't happened yet. We haven't had the settlement yet. The courts haven't divided everything yet. So in a way, you guys are still tied you're almost still in limbo. I feel like that's what it is. 
you haven't had a chance to truly move on because you're still you're still slightly tied together until the courts do what they have to do. I feel like you're going to be getting money out of it though. I feel like it's a fair amount of money because I have the Three of Cups which represents happiness and celebration and the Three of Wands which represents um, a positive forward movement overcoming challenges while working towards your goal over time. So to me I see in the Three of Wands I see being able to move on. Okay, I feel like you're the one who wants to move on. I feel like your ex is still watching you. That's what I feel is going on. It's like you're the one who would like to cut ties and move forward. I feel like they're still spying on you. I have the Three of Swords, which represents represents heartbreak so to me it's speaking of it's speaking of this divorce it's speaking of this relationship coming to an end i have the knight of pentacles which represents something you've been working towards for a long time finally coming to fruition i feel like this has been dragging out this has been dragging out in the courts for quite a while so i feel like the thing that's coming to fruition is this settlement and this closure and this ending that you're going to get I have the Queen of Swords. In her, I see victory. I see you and I see having having a personal victory in being able to walk away, finally sever ties and walk away. I have the Six of Wands, which represents triumph over challenges. And I feel like it's also speaking to, I feel like it's also speaking to this going through the courts. I don't feel like it's been easy. I feel like your ex has made it difficult. And that's why it's been dragging on for a long time. I don't know exactly how, but I feel like you've had to overcome multiple challenges um, throughout this, the court proceedings, to be able to get what's fair for you. I have the page of wands, which represents good news on the, on the way. To me, it's definitely tied into this, this three of cups. It's not just, not just the win of the money coming in, with the win of being able to sever ties and to walk away, having it finally freaking done. I think that is a big deal for you. I have the Five of Swords, uh, which can warn against selfish or short one victories or victories at the cost of others. I feel like it's speaking to that King of Swords and why he is dragging uh, this out. Uh, he was trying to take everything and leave you with nothing. Because I just don't think he cared. If you had absolutely nothing. He didn't care about what was fair. He just wanted for himself. I feel like. I have the Ten of Pentacles here. Which also speaks of abundance and, and wealth. I feel like it's speaking to the settlement coming your way. I have the lover's card here. I feel like you might have even moved on. I feel like it's taken that, that freaking long to get through this, that you've actually moved on and found somebody new. I have the Knight of Wands here, and the Knight of Wands speaks of moving. I think you've actually already moved in with this person. Is the vibe that I get from the cards. That that's how long this is freaking taken. And you know what? Depending on when it happened, that might have even caused this king to try and draw it out even further. Because I get that. I get that pissed off, vindictive vibe from them. And if they're still watching you, they would know that all of this is happening. And I think they go out of their way to make this uh, take even longer and draw it out even worse. Uh, I have the judgment card, though. She is my karma card. And she speaks of getting back what you put out into the universe. So she speaks of bringing balance back to this situation. I think she's helping you out here uh, by bringing this to an end so that you can move forward in your life because I feel like mentally and emotionally, like you've severed the ties with this dude. You are already gone. You are already trying to live a different life. Um, and he is just hanging on tooth and nail, trying not to let you go and trying to make it as difficult as possible 
for you to go. So I think because his behavior is negative and it's destructive and it's not healing in any way, shape and form. And because you've chosen to move forward uh, to heal, to try and grow a new life, I feel like karma rewards each of you for what you're putting out into the world. So you're putting positivity and healing out into the world. So you're going to get rewarded for that. This person is putting negativity out into the world. And so they're going to get equal reward for that something negative. So I feel like, I feel like you're getting a chunk of the wealth and it's probably going to piss them right off. Yep. And I have the seven of swords and the seven of swords represents a feeling of unfairness. I feel like it's, it's tied in to that king of swords uh, and they're not going to like uh, the verdict that is coming their way. I have the queen of wands here. Uh, she brings a very strong energy and a passion. I feel like it's a new passion for life. I feel like it's speaking to you and being able to finally move forward and have a relief. I have the Six of Pentacles, which represents balance, bringing the scales back into balance, tying into that karma card. The magician says you have all the tools that you need to be successful in life. I think this money is also going to give that to you. It's going to give you some opportunities. I have the Six of Cups here. Uh, it tends to be called a blast from the past card. It can speak of someone or something from your past uh, coming back into your life or learning from the past and letting the past go and I believe it's speaking of uh, letting the past go and moving forward and and it has I just see positivity coming from this card so being able to let go and move forward um, is definitely going to bring a positivity for you I don't know what they're going to do, but I mean, once you guys have been, once the divorce is final and everything's final, they have no legal right to do any kind of anything and they're just going to have to get over themselves. I have the eight of cups, uh, which represents a bright new journey forward. And the five of cups, uh, to me, the five of cups is speaking to this trapped in fear, this discontent and boredom, uh, this feeling stuck and this limbo that's a book to come to an end the nine of wands uh which speaks of working towards a goal over time so trying to get this freaking divorce finalized so that you can get rid of this king of swords of yours and then starting this bright new journey the high priestess to me is all about trusting your intuition and having faith in the universe uh that she will look after you because I feel like it's coming down the pipe I feel like karma is going to be evening things out uh you both have made your choices you both have sent uh, your chosen energies out into the world and you will both be rewarded equally for that. Uh, I have triumph, patience, rest and rejuvenate and recognition and reward. I feel like patience is tying into the high priestess and just having faith that the universe will do her part and will look after you and everything is going to be okay. I feel like rest and rejuvenate is speaking to taking some time for yourself and decompressing because I feel like the worry is quite heavy and because it's been dragging out for a while, it tends to wear you down. So I feel like the cards are telling you uh, to take some time to feed your soul and recharge your batteries um, because you will have that triumph. You will have that recognition and reward. You will have that settlement. You will have that success and those wishes fulfilled it's coming your way it's coming down the pipe so just have faith and hang in there kermit and the universe are doing their part Alrighty, guys that's what the card said to me i hope that you enjoyed the read uh, please feel free to comment or feel free to like or subscribe if you're not already part of our community here at tarot harmony we would love to have you take care